Yes, I know that AI is getting better each day, but this is something extraordinary. I mean, this Google's AI studio, first of all, as you can see, it has a lot to offer. There's a lot of models here, such as this image generation tool, but this one is, you know, just a tiny part of it. And I'm gonna leave it for later. I wanna show you my favorite feature first. It's stream real time. Now stream real time is something that you haven't seen ever before. Here, you can click on this, select video source, and then you can click on screen. And then what it will do, it will just go and record your screen. So it's just gonna watch what is on your screen right now, and it's gonna give you the help with whatever's on your screen. This is revolutionary because it can watch your screen and it can help you with the things on the screen. Let me just show you how this works. So if I click on the screen here, first of all, it's gonna ask me which screen I want. So I'll just go with the entire screen here and I will click on allow button. And of course I'm gonna allow my microphone and just have a look at this. Okay, I see you have the Google AI Studio open and you're about to start a stream. Is there something specific you'd like to look at? I never used Google's Sheets before, so what do I have to do in order to find Google Sheets? It sounds like you are trying to find Google Sheets within Google AI Studio. Is that correct? No, I just want to find it online. Where can I find it and how? Okay, it sounds like you're looking for Google Sheets online. You can access Google Sheets by going to sheets.google.com in your web browser. Would you like me to help you with anything else? Okay, is this Google Sheets? I've never used it before. Yes, that's Google Sheets. It looks like you've opened a new, untitled spreadsheet. Have you got any questions about how to use it? I want to insert numbers here, so you can just watch me as I do it. And I want to make a sum of all these three columns here. Okay, I see you've entered three numbers into cells B1, B2, and B3, and are about to sum them. Would you like me to help you with how to do that? Yes, how do I sum them? To sum those numbers, you can click on cell B4, then type in equals SU, B1, B3, and press enter. That should give you the sum of the numbers in B1, B2, and B3. Would you like me to explain that further? What if I don't want to type? Is there a button that I can click on? Yes, there is a button. If you click on the cell where you want the sum, which is B4 in this case, and then go to the functions button, which looks like a Greek letter E, you will find sum there. Click on that, and it will automatically create the sum function for you. Would you like to see that in action? Yes, I would like to see that in action. Okay, I see that you've clicked on the functions button, and you are now seeing a drop down menu. And the first option is SUM. You can click that to sum those numbers. Okay, now I just type B1, B2, and B3. It looks like the sum function is waiting for you to specify which cells you want to add. You can either type in B1, B3, or you can click and drag from cell B1 to cell B3, and the formula will update automatically. Would you like to try that? Okay, is this now correct? Yes, it looks like the sum of 23, 12, and 21 is correctly displayed as 56 in cell B4. Is there anything else I can help you with? Now, how cool is that? How cool is that? I think that you don't need a tutorial for anything now when you've got this, but yeah. Maybe Google Spreadsheets, it's too simple, too basic. So let us try with something else. I'm just gonna start a new screen now and I'll just select the screen once again and I'll just select entire screen once again, allow. And here I am in Premiere Pro. So Google, do you see the screen now? Yes, I see a screen capture of Adobe Premiere Pro and a cat. Do you have a question about this screen? Okay, could you help me? I want to zoom in on a cat's eyes. So how can I do that in Premiere Pro? Okay, you wanna zoom in on the cat's eyes in Premiere Pro. I see that you have a clip selected in the timeline. Do you wanna know how to use the scale and position properties to zoom in on the cat's eyes? Yes, exactly. Okay, in the effect controls panel, you'll see scale and position properties. Increase the scale value to zoom in. You can then adjust the position values to center the zoom on the cat's eyes. Would you like me to explain any of the steps in more detail? Okay, now I'm doing it. I think it's good. Great, it looks like you've zoomed in on the cat's face. Is there anything else I can assist you with? I think this is gonna work with whatever tool. I watched a video online on YouTube and one fella did it with chatbots. I mean, it made entire workflow just to make that chatbot or AI engine, whatever, to respond to his emails. And 
Google let him through the process. It's so powerful. I, I'm in love with this one. And yeah, I do have in mind, how can we make money with this one? Because after this, no one's gonna watch tutorials anymore. Because, you know, just think about it. If you wanna learn how to use Premiere Pro and you just wanna learn how to zoom in, you would have to find a longer YouTube video and you would just have to go to a minute six and, you know, you just find that little section that explains you how to zoom in on a cat's face. Now, what people more like, and even people who don't know about this one, they like shorts. They like short videos, YouTube shorts, TikToks, Instagram reels. It's way better for people nowadays. We don't have attention. So what can you do? You can learn how to use various tools. You can start with Premiere Pro, you can use whatever, DaVinci, you can use chatbots, you can use, you know, Canva, basically you can use whatever. And then you can just make small, small tutorials, which are gonna be shorts in the short format. And then you can just create content about that one. Now you will need information. And that information is what are people searching for, right? Because this and YouTube, especially some videos are working on search based functions. And if you know what people are searching for, you will know what to make videos about. And you don't care if people look for how to, you know, make a course for you and me, whatever, or how to use Premiere Pro or OBS, whatever. You can learn that through Google AI Studio, and then you can create shorts with that. One good tool to find what people are searching for is vidIQ. First of all, I'm not affiliating with them. I don't care. You can just Google for it. It is vidIQ. And yeah, you will have to pay for it a little bit, but you can try it out for free, right? And then you can use this tool, which I'm using right now to record your screen. This is a free tool, it's called OBS Studio, and it just records your screen, right? Also, you can use Eleven Labs for the voiceover, or you can use Speechma. Speechma is for free, right? But the downside of it is that it is somewhat slow and you get results slowly, right? That's why it's free. And then of course, if you find a topic, you go and see what other people are doing and you recreate the same thing, right? So you can be an expert in whichever tool you want. Google Studio is gonna help you with that. The only thing you have to do is to find what people are searching for. Sometimes it's just gonna be, you know, how to post a reel on Instagram or how to make a PayPal account or something like that. But yeah, of course, this is not gonna make you millions or thousands of dollars, but I think it's a great side hustle and you don't have to learn to use all of these tools, all of these programs. Now for the second option, as I've told you, there's a lot of these models here and this Gemini here, let me just go on create a prompt. So if you use this Gemini 2.0 flash, it's basically image generator, right? So image generation is something that you already know about, but look at this. This is called visual story. If you click on visual story, first of all, it's gonna give you a story, right? And for each one of those scenes, it's gonna give you the picture. And not only is it gonna give you the picture, but the character consistency, it's gonna be perfect. As you can see, this little goat, whatever it says here, you're gonna make that into voiceover. And then just you can use this picture in relation to that scene. And then you just download this picture and this picture, just take a look. I mean, it's just perfect. The character is always the same. You know how much time you would spend if you would do this on Mid Journey or something like that, or Ideogram, whatever. So I get an idea for this through some YouTube channels, which are not so big. As you can see, this one has 26,000 subscribers and they use only pictures. So let me just play a bit. I don't know if I can use a lot of this because of the copyright issue, but as you can see, it's just the pictures with a little bit of effects, right? So it's just pictures and sometimes they zoom in, sometimes they zoom out or they just like moving from side to side. And of course, Google AI Studio can help you, you know, learn how to use Premiere Pro or CapCut in order to just edit your videos. This channel, by the way, as you can see, 26,000 subscribers. They post like one video per week. That's gonna be important for you because consistency is what wins on any of the social media platforms. But the money is pretty good, as you can see. Let's just say that they get 1K each 14 days, right? So that's probably more than $2,000 per month. And one per week, I mean, it's, it's an easy job to do. Of course, it's gonna take time. You're gonna need a lot of patience, a lot of work, 
But trust me, if you have your own YouTube channel and you know you invest six months, eight months in order to just put it on its feet, you have a side hustle for life, right? So just think about it. Is it worth it for you to disappear for one, two, three, five months in order to make something that's gonna be with you for a lifetime? Yeah, it depends on you. Wish you good luck, and I'll catch you in the next one.